Hey guys, it's your boy Galaxy, and today we're gonna make an Apex video. Um, we did already start in, but you know, tight edit stuff on the Uh, we're gonna look for some tips and tricks for Apex, and the first one is Chitta Aiming, so let's get into it. Okay. Jitter aiming allows you to easily control the recoil on certain weapons. It works really well with all the automatic weapons like the flatline and the spitfire. By jittering your aim back and forth sharply and up and down. Alright, I still don't understand the jitter aiming a bit, so let me just go back. I don't watch out for. I don't really understand it a bit, so hold on, I watch out for. We're going to start with some good old fashioned mouse mechanics. Not only have great aim, but also insane recoil control across every weapon. Getting comfortable with recoil patterns and getting a feel for how much you need to correct your shot to account for different recoils is going to evolve your M&K gameplay so much. Alright, so let me go back. If only guys look in the corner here. Let's have some little notes. Yeah, like, yeah. Look in the corner here, like, getting comfortable with recoil patterns and getting a feel. Reading notes, it might help a lot. Just saying. Nice creeper shot. Recoil into resetting instead of the recoil continuing to climb. This does take some practice, so get into the range, or you might end up missing a whole bunch of shots. Speaking of your mouse movements, a way you can give yourself a weapon choice. Especially good on M and K. Weapons are strong when you can make quick, precise movements that are really strong on M and K. Think shotties, snipers, or even guns like the wingman. These weapons are all really strong if you have good flicking. Make sure it turn ATP. You can have really high accuracy with these weapons and have insane damage output. Now, this is a more advanced way of looking at these weapons because a lot of people just think aim assist on controller makes them objectively stronger. While this might be true for some weapons, mastering these precision weapons on mouse will have people thinking that you have aim assist. While on the topic of quick adjustments with your mouse, make sure your sense isn't too high. Just because we're talking Alright, they said control in your sense as a person who likes to play on high high sense. Real high sense. Just saying. Talking about quick movements doesn't mean your sensitivity should be cranked up. Most top players play between 400 and 800 DPI, and between a 1.5 and a 3 in game sense. While this is a rough boundary, it should give you a good idea of one thing. You don't need to have a high sensitivity to be an incredible player. These top players play at a sensitivity that allows them to easily navigate situations, perform advanced movement, and 180 on a surprise target. However, they're usually looking to play on the lowest sensitivity that's possible for them to still do the things I said before. This allows their precise shots to be much more than accurate while still being able to make quick corrections with their aim or snap onto a new target. And if you're looking to dial in your sense or even just practice your aiming techniques in an advanced aim training, aim lab, it's a free game oh. used to make sure I'm dialed in, and it's not only for Apex. Getting good on mouse and keyboard is a journey, and when you get there, it requires constant practice to stay up to par. One of the biggest aspects of being good on your input is control over your mouse. And AimLab's drills and statistics let you know where you stand and help get you where you want to go with constant feedback and advice. I find myself trying to beat my own high score constantly. And if you want to try to beat my high score, make sure to check out AimLab in the top link in the description below. Uh, as you guys can see, AimLab right here. Check it out. Check it out. And another thing you should do on mouse and keyboard is change the scroll wheel forward to W key. 
This will allow your scroll wheel to quickly input the forward option many times, opening up tap strafing as a mechanic. This simple keybind change gives you access to an entire movement mechanic, and as of yet, the devs haven't followed through with their plan to remove it. So in the meantime, let's make sure we're using it to our advantage. Top strafing. Slide jump, you can turn your POV, flick your mouse wheel, and allow you to quickly 180 in the air. It's an impressive mechanic that can let you get a lot of interesting peaks and jukes. Okay, so guys, comment down in the comments if they said you had to go forward and like flip the jump button to spin back. Okay, I don't really understand it. Drop in the comments, I don't really understand. Top strafing. Clear setup. I know this can be tough for a lot of people. To I'm gonna be honest. My setup, not clear of clay. Just, just pain it's already. Dong hell. Depending on their gaming station, but doing your best to have plenty of clean, usable mouse pad space is a must if you're taking your gameplay seriously. And also, guys, look, I love a good beverage by the PC myself, but don't let anything being on your desk crowd your space. Make sure you have plenty of room to do a full 180 on your sensitivity without running out of room on your mouse pad. If you can't do that, you'll likely need a bigger mouse pad or you'll have to clean up a little bit. Having a clean, organized station can really help your gameplay when you're playing on mouse and keyboard. These peripherals take up a lot of space, so do your best to have the proper space if possible. So, let's jump back to movement. If you can't tell so far, it's one of the biggest strengths of mouse and keyboard. Confuse King? <laughs> tell my daddy that. Most of the top players have insane movement. This is largely due to some of the scroll wheel interactions that we talked about in the last tip, and also due to extra control that a mouse gives you over a character when you compare it to a joystick. With all this in mind, the point is, abuse your movement. While you don't have to be insane and have the crazy movement tech down like Fade, you should really do your best to be an elusive and fast target. You don't have to hit every single shot if you're positioning well and quick on your feet. If you struggle with having crazy aim or just want an extra tool at your disposal to make you more lethal, you have to get serious about your movement and really hone in on how best to utilize everything at your disposal. Speaking of being elusive, this is incredibly important in close range gunfights in Apex. As we all know, you can go down quick if you get caught out by multiple members or just face check someone with a shoddy. This right here is when our last elusive yet aggressive. These close range That's what she said. Huh. If you have a good grasp on advanced movement like we talked about, then don't be afraid to bail on an angle and kite out a fight. Not tunneling on a situation and always playing your life is what's going to let your advanced movement shine. Not just ego challenging someone and shooting each other until one of you dies. Play your life, play the situation, and try to wait for an opportunity to present itself. Alrighty guys, if you've made it this far, you're here for my favorite tip. Yes, you made it this far. While you can make a jump Just, sorry to pause again. I changed my settings so much for my games. So, Fortnite, Warzone, Brawl. Giving yourself a little setback in your progress towards becoming the most fine-tuned version of yourself. 
I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. There are no perfect settings. And so, mm. what try to do is mm. things that are comfortable and then leave them be. The focus overall should be on improving at the game, not obsessing over a minor sensitivity change. And boom, that's tip number 10. There's a ton more that we're going to talk about in another video, but for now, this list has something for everybody. If you take away a single tip that I talked about here today and add it to your gameplay, I call that a win. Alright guys, so you hear him. Take a tip. Do just watch the video, go on sleep, then gear up on grinding apex. Take the tips. Take the tips. As always guys, it's been your boy valued. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip from today was, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. It's your boy AXN Galaxy. We run into tips, waiting to get the PC to live stream for you guys on Twitch, on YouTube. Make sure and join up. But yeah, hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe, share, tell a friend. Thanks.